After a highly successful 2023, the Indian Space Agency or ISRO is geared up for its maiden launch of this year. In just a few minutes from now at 9.10 a.m. Indian Standard Time, India's PSL VC-58 mission is all set to be launched the X, it's going to launch the X-ray polarimeter, polarimeter satellite or ExpoSat today. Now, the mission is the first dedicated polarimetry mission of the nation. The ExpoSat mission will try to unravel the mysteries of black holes. Only NASA has attempted a mission like this before India. ExpoSat will, launch, will be launched into an eastward low inclination orbit at 9.10 a.m. local time today. The satellite will be launched from the Satish Dhawan Space Center located in Sri Harikota in the state of Andhra Pradesh in India. The mission will be studying the 50 brightest known sources in the universe. Now, the new satellite seeks to understand the intricacies of bright celestial X-ray sources. We are just seconds away from the launch which is going to take place and we are tracking it very closely. It will be examining complicated dynamics under harsh circumstances. The ExpoSat spacecraft is carrying cutting-edge technology. We're barely eight seconds away from the launch. You can see bystanders trying to get a glimpse of the rocket as it is going to take off PSLV C-58. It is just a few seconds away. And of course, we are going to cut back to the shots. There it goes. And that is the launch of PSLV C-58. It is 1st of January and we are seeing the launch take place. This is the ExpoSat satellite, India's first. And it has taken off right on time. 9.10 a.m. is when it was expected. These are visuals coming in from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota in Andhra Pradesh in India. And on 1st of January, India has done what only NASA has done before this. This is the 60th launch of the PSLV rocket, which is carrying the payload of the Expo Sat. And that is the satellite. It will be studying black holes among other celestial bodies. There it goes. It is very much on a course it is in its trajectory a very crucial moment here for everyone at the Satish Dhawan Space Center everyone holds their breath they all awaiting the successful launch of PSLV and we will be able to com comment on that sooner as soon as we get comments from the officials coming in as of now these are the visuals we're getting for you viewers coming live from Sri Harikota in Andhra Pradesh the Satish Dhawan Space Center and there you see the ExpoSat satellite being taken into the orbit by the PSLV C-58 rocket. ISRO launches ExpoSat mission and it will be sent into the orbit to study black holes. India launches the world's second dedicated as such mission. Only NASA has attempted this before. And of course, we all know the, the success that ISRO has seen, that India has seen in 2023. And this is what a beautiful way to start 2024. India's space research organization has done it again. This is 2024. It's the 1st of January. First thing in the morning, you get up and these are the visuals that we're seeing. The launch has been very much on time. These are all live visuals we're bringing for you. Each and every movement, each and every moment is being tracked very, very closely, meticulously by all the officials at ISRO. And we are, of course, looking into all the latest which is coming in. Now, it, the rocket is carrying cutting-edge technology which is designed particularly for low-Earth orbit exploration. So it is not going to be traveling at a very far distance is going to be in low earth orbit and the satellite's configuration is adapted from the IMS2 bus platform with the mainframe systems drawing from the heritage of IRS satellites. Now this is the digital representation of PSLV C-58. The ExpoSat satellite is the one of the payloads that it is carrying and this is how there it goes and we are seeing first detachment take place that's a digital representation of that as we are tracking as ISRO tracks the movement very closely it will be measure measuring polarization of celestial x-ray sources now it has two primary payloads here viewers the ExpoSat of course Polix, which is a polarimeter instrument and that helps in taking x-rays and the second payload is X-SPECT which studies the x-rays and timing in, uh, the, in space.
Now, to put it in simpler terms, of course, a payload refers to the valuable cargo that a spacecraft carries, like satellites, scientific instruments or equipment. It's something that we send to space for specific purposes. These are visuals. These, this was the exact visual that you saw the launch of the rocket. There it goes, and it has taken off. These were just from a few minutes ago, viewers, at 9.10 a.m. That was the time, that was the scheduled time for the launch. It took off exactly at that given time. And uh, these were the first visuals that we show of the rocket. And uh, to, of course, uh, track everything very, very closely, we have Siddharth MP, our correspondent. He's there very much in Sri Hari Kota. He's been seeing the launch close up. We've been talking to him since the morning. Siddharth, uh, you're there on site. Tell us, tell us if everything is on course. Tell us uh, what the general mood is over there. And, of course, if, are there any risks being seen at the moment? Give us a glimpse of what's happening. So, PSLV mission Shivan to start with are uh, absolutely zero tension, zero worry mission and that's the kind of reliability that the rocket has with its 98% success rate in 59 launches to date. So, there's absolutely no worry about any risks or anything with regard to this mission. It's a 22-minute mission, so right now the third stage of the rocket is firing its honesty in space and you know, it's moving towards its destination orbit which is 650 kilometers above the Earth's surface. So, once the third stage does its job, it will be the you know, task of the final stage, or fourth stage, known as CS4, PSLV fourth stage, to inject the satellite into its designated orbit, which is 50 kilometers above the Earth. That is expected to happen uh, 22 minutes from launch time, which is around 9.32 a.m. IST. We can expect the, uh, you know, call out about satellite having separated from the rocket. So, uh, so far, things are progressing very smooth, and it was, uh, as usual, a glorious uh, launch mission from Srihari Kota, and... Uh, the sonic boom and you know the kind mm -hmm. of um, engine roar of the rocket for at least mm -hmm. a couple of kilometers around the launch pad. So that's how it is, and every time it's been the same thing. And uh, today was no different. So you know, right now the mission to you know unravel some of the mysteries of the universe. Yeah. And and what a beautiful way to start the new year. First thing in the morning, you get up, you see the successful launch. I mean, I'm uh, you know, it's maybe there are another 20 minutes to go before it finally reaches its final point. But still, it has been all successful till now. And uh, the rocket, seeing it take off, dot on time, not a second here, not a second there. You said it's a 22-minute mission. Talk to us about at 9.32. Tell us, will that be the exact time when we can then confirm and say that yes the entire mission has been a success or is it uh, if we can can we say that uh, safely right away so uh, 932 ideally is what to wait until mm. that moment because you know throughout this mission every minute and you know every second is mm. cataloged very carefully mm. and there are you know particular events that have to take place at each of these uh -huh. so they have an entire mm. class and they have thousands of parameters to monitor so it's only after these parameters are confirmed that they announce that, you know, a certain stage is separated, a certain stage is ignited. So these are all a sequence of events. So there's no skipping anything, mm. which is why it always takes a fixed amount of time, which is also the reason why launches always happen uh, on the dot, which is also the reason why the separation happens on the dot. There's a lot of complicated calculations involved in these kind of missions, which mm. is why, you know, we have to wait for the official call-out from the range operations director, who's in charge of monitoring all these parameters and mm. letting people know that, mm. you know, this particular event has happened. The satellite has separated, the mission is success. Mm. So it's these people who announce and let people know. And those are the announcements we're waiting for. These are, in fact, technical announcements. So it's only after monitoring separate parameters mm. that each one of these call-outs are given to us. So, uh, of course, we are going to be waiting for the call-outs as they happen. And uh, for now, we're going to let you go, uh, Siddharth, and uh, we will be keeping in touch as uh, the developments come in place. As Siddharth mentioned, uh, viewers, uh, 22 minutes is the total time of the mission. It is not a very long mission. Within 22 minutes, the detachments will be taking place. And after that, ExpoSat, the satellite, will be placed into the orbit. It's about 650 kilometers above the Earth's surface. And uh, from there, it will be monitoring black holes. Now, only NASA has a a mission like this before India. India, this is India's first such mission, and everything is on course. Of course, we see Mr. Somnath right there on your screens. Everyone at the ESRO uh, Center is, uh, you know, in Sri Harikota. They are monitoring each and every movement very, very closely, and we are waiting from the official statements to come out from the agencies for a final call out on to where the Expo satellite stands. Exposite satellite stands at the moment.